Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome back to 1949. Today it's the athletics of the White Sox. Philadelphia, of course, still in this pennant race. Chicago, far out of it. 28 and 22 are the athletics. Randy Gumpert is on the mound for the uh, White Sox. Throws a ball to Elmer Valo, and what else is new? That's lined to left field. It's going to be off Rapp's uh, glove, and Valo will wind up with a double. No air called on that play, and that's the way this one starts off. Randy Gumpert for the White Sox uh, in 81 in the third innings has a 3.43 ERA, his record 5-4. and four. Here is Eddie Juiced, and uh, he misses the first pitch, 0-1. He tried to bunt. That's low, 1-1. One one. Gumpert not so good against lefties, and uh, that's what Valo is. 2-1 pitch, swing and a miss in the screwball, 2-2. Two and two. That fastball gets by uh, Juice for the strikeout, so there is uh, one away, and here's Ferris Fane. There is a strike to Fane, 0 and 1. High fastball's too high, 1 and 1. Hammer to the right side, through Cass Michaels for a base hit. Here comes Vallow for home. Throw goes to home, and it's a really poor throw by Philly. Um, that pulls Wheeler way off the plate. Fane goes to second. That was one nothing athletics, and here's Wally Moses. I've said it before. I'll say it again as Moses takes the ball. These athletics are built for diamond mine baseball. 2-0 now the count on Wally. That's hit deep right center field. Philly makes the catch. Fain uh, decides to hold it second. Philly's arm a little bit too good for that. And here comes Chapman. Of course, Philly's arm was a little bit too good for that throw to Wheeler. There is a strike on Sam 0-1. That's off the outside edge. 1-1. High. 2-1. Looped over to left field, and actually Rapp's going to get there in time for the out. We go to the bottom of the first. So misplay in the outfield, and that leads to uh, the uh, first run for the White Sox, and here comes Don Wheeler, who takes a strike. Curve outside, one and one to Don. Ground ball, shortstop, juice. The first one away. Cast Michaels. Michaels flies out to left field. Val has got it two away. Here's Luke Appling. Grounded wide to third, 0-1. Oh Inside is the fastball, 1-1. One one. Low, 2-1. Ground ball right side, Fox, the second baseman on the first. We go to the top of the second. Here's Hank Majeski. Fly ball to the right field. Philly's got it. One away. Here's Nellie Fox, and it's grounded right past Michaels. Another ball gets by uh, Cal- Cass Michaels. Base hit for Nellie Fox, and I'll bring up Joe Astroth. This, Phil- uh, this athletics team, I'm sorry, is so good that Fox is hitting seventh. I'd say the Phillies, but they're pretty bad in 49. It's 1950 for the Phillies. Swing and a miss by uh, Astroth. Fox trying for second, and he's thrown out easily. Uh, two away, and here still is Astroth. Ground ball to Cass Michaels. Throw to first. Just gets his man in time. We go to the bottom of the second inning. one nothing Philadelphia. Earl Rapp now takes a ball. And that misses inside. 2-0. and Ground ball right side. Fox with it on to first. One away. Here's Dave Philly. Takes a ball. 1-0. and Just outside. It's 2-0 and on Dave. That's high. 3-0 and the count. There's a strike. 3-1. and And that one misses outside. So Bobby Shantz, who I haven't introduced yet, 3.04 ERA um, after that first inning and a uh, a 47 and a third innings pitched. He has walked a batter. He walked uh, quite a few more than he struck out in real life. And so we should be used, uh, we should be prepared for this. Cress uh, fouls one away and swings and misses. It's 0-2. Round ball to short, juiced, Fox, and on to Fain. Double play. We go to the top of the third, and of course, as you remember, the Philadelphia Athletics of 1949 are synonymous with double play. Chance takes a ball high. Look up the word double play in the dictionary. It's not there, but if it were, you'd have a picture of this team. That's all you need. Uh, two and one, the count now on Bobby. It's inside three and one now. Swing and a miss. Full count. And as down away, Chance, of course, strikes out on that. Down goes the pitcher. So Gumper with two strikeouts today, pitching fairly well despite giving up that run. And here's Valo again. He takes a ball. 3-11 is average. 2-0 the count. 444 on base percentage. And there's ball three. And uh, that's a strike. Three and one. He's walked 46 times. This is hit deep to right center field. And there's a home run. Number five of the season for Valo. So forget about walking again. He goes yard. And it's 2-0 athletics. Here comes Eddie Juiced. Screwball's way outside on Juiced. And that's low and off the play. 2-0. There's a strike. 2-1 the count. And that's fouled off. Two and two. Sliders high. Full count now on Eddie. And there's ball four. So Juice, the other man who likes to walk, uh, takes a stroll down to first. Here comes Fane. First walk that Gumpert's given up. Fly ball is short right center. Philly's got it for the out two away. And here's Wally Moses. By the way, that uh, as Moses takes a strike, that home run by Valo is significant because we're at uh, Comiskey Park, which is definitely not a home run ballpark. One and one the count. as low two and one. 
outside swing and a miss two and two on Moses and uh, that just missed him full count now on Wally it over to left rap uh, slips a little bit one way and then the next and makes the catch anyway we go to the bottom of the third here's Herb Adams there's a called strike to Herb and a ball one and one pop up infield juiced has it one away up is Floyd Baker he takes a fastball for a strike 0 and 1 swing and a miss it's 0 and 2 that one misses 1 and 2 Ground ball to Majeski's left. Uh, Juiced actually gets that one, throws to first. There's two away, and here comes Gumpert. Randy uh, hitting 250 this season, so uh, he has a couple of base hits there. It's 0-2, and, and uh, down he goes on strikes. And we go to the top of the fourth. He just uh, sort of closed his eyes and swung. Sam Chapman uh, hits a ground ball um, up the middle, but Appling gets there, throws to first. There's one away. Hank Majeski now takes a ball, 1-0. Hit to right, and that'll be a base hit, but Philly cuts it off. Does a good job. Still trying to uh, make up for his miscue, and that'll bring up uh, Nellie Fox. There's a ball low. 2 nothing Athletics. Hit to deep left center field. That one splits the outfielders. Majeski goes to third, and Fox winds up at second, and that'll bring up Astros. So uh, Fox having a good day at the play, 2-for-2, two two, and uh, Joe takes a strike. That's a ball high, 1-1. One one. Fouled away. It's 1-2 and two now on Joe. Base hit right field. One comes in. And Fox is held at third on the single by Astroth. So they're still worried about Philly's arm, even though last time he uncorked one over or way outside the plate. 3 nothing Athletics. I don't think that run matters that much. The ground ball back to Gumpert. Throws over to Michaels for one. They try to get Chance at first, but he beats it out. So there's two away now. Runner's still at the corners. And here's Valo again. Two for two. Takes a ball high and a ball low. 2-0. Oh. Foul the way. 2-1. Foul back again. Two and two now on Elmer. Screwball misses low. It's a full count. And there is ball four. So he has walked now 47 times this season. We are not even close to the halfway point. Here comes Eddie Juice, the other Mr. Walk. He's walked 59 times. There's a ball inside, 1-0, and, oh, and that's inside again, 2-0. Oh. There's a strike, 2-1. and one. Ground ball, second base. Michael's on to first. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Don Wheeler here, the uh, catcher, who I like to hit lead off. Hitting 281, 425 on base percentage. That's why we like him. He's got a 3 0 count on him. There's a strike, 3 and 1. Fouled away. It's a full count now. And that's a base hit. Uh, man, Wheeler just uh, sat back, waited on that breaking ball, and hit it straight over to left field. So Wheeler does a good job. One of the few men's, uh, men on this uh, White Sox team that knows how to hit. First hit of the game for Chicago. And now Cass Michaels hits one uh, through third base for another single. Wheeler, who's not fast, is going to have to stop at second. But this brings up Luke Appling now with runners on first and second and nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. It's a 3 nothing lead for the Athletics, but here come the White Sox. Bobby Shands um, having some problems, and his knuckler is low, 1-0. and Apparently a knuckleball pitcher. I'm not sure if we see a lot or a few of those. Swing and a miss at a fastball high, and that's wide of the plate, 2-1. and one. Fouled away now, 2-2. Two and two. That's off the plate, so it's a full count now on Appling. Fouled away again. Fouled away off the catcher, full count. And that's a walk, and so he walks Appling, and that'll bring up Earl Rapp. Base is loaded. Earl Rapp, who actually was not a regular in real life, the left fielder, hitting 302. He's driven in nine, um, 63 at-bats compared with 54 in real life. I'm not sure how much longer he's on this team, so we'll get all the mileage out of him that we can. Uh, fairly good hitter, and he fouls one away, 0-1. And, and there's a ball outside, 1-1. One one. Swing and a miss, it's 1-2. Uh, and two. That's foul back, still 1-2. and two. Out and away, 2-2. Two and two. Strike three on the inside corner. But I tell you, Bobby Shantz really reared up and uh, got that one um, right in the right place. So there's one away now, and here comes Dave Philly. And uh, the lack of power in this White Sox lineup is hurting it. That's low and away for a ball, and that's fouled away, 1-1. One Foul ball again, one and two. Belts a deep to right field, but Moses is able to go back and get that. No play at uh, the uh, runners on second and third moving up. Good play, though, by Moses to take away a potential extra base hit. It is now a three to one lead for the Athletics. Michaels moves to third, of course, and uh, here comes Chuck Kress with runners on the corners, but with two outs. There's a ball, a uh, strike at the knees, sorry, and that one skips up there, one and one. And there's another swing by Kress. Shan's having a hard time, though, uh, finding the plate. Two and two. Wish I could see all the uh, ratio of swinging strikes, and uh, he's rung up there on strike three. We'll go to the top of the fifth inning now. Three to one athletics. There's Ferris Fain who takes a strike. There's a fly ball by Fain over to left. Rap is there. One away. Wally Moses now takes a strike, and then a ball low and inside. One and one. 
that's off the play, two and one. Moses is three home runs, swinging a miss on that, two and two. He only had one in real life. It's a full count now, and that's fouled away. We, so we've seen a little bit of that in this replay, and uh, Gumper loses him, and that'll bring up Sam Chapman. So runner on at first now for Chapman, only one out, and that's skipped up there for ball one. And that's low, 2-0. Oh. Hit to right center field, but Philly, uh, the right fielder, able to get it for the out, two away, and here comes uh, Hank Majeski. Good play by Baker, the third baseman on that ground ball, throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. So we're halfway through this one, 3-1 to one, uh, athletics. Here comes Herb Adams, and he takes a strike. This game not necessarily so important for Chicago. Swing and a miss by Adams. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good night on that. Three pitches, three strikes. Up now Floyd Baker. Chicago is way out of the pennant race, but the athletics um, are deep in it. There's a ball to Baker and another ball, 2-0. Win here is important for Philadelphia. It doesn't mean that much for Chicago. 3-0 the count on Baker, and he takes ball four low. Bobby Chance has now walked three and uh, struck out four. That'll bring up Randy Gumpert. Uh, 3-0-4 now the uh, ERA for Chance, and Gumpert fouls one back, 0-1-1. There's a ball high, 1-1. One one. The Athletics, the Mackmen, need all the help they can get. 1-2 and two now on Gumpert, in terms of pitching, that is, because they don't have much of a uh, bullpen. 1-2 pitch again. That's high, 2-2. Two and two. That's low, but Gumper chases it for strike three. So that's the fifth strikeout now that Bobby has rung up against three walks. Up now is Don Wheeler takes a strike. That's hit the left field base hit. Baker, though, was slow, and he's going to have to stop, and that'll bring up Cass Michael. So lots of station-to-station baseball for the White Sox. They only have three hits. There's a ball high and a foul ball, one and one. Swing and a miss on the off-speed pitch, and that's below the knees, two and two. Little roller, and uh, boy, that's a bad play there by Juice. Um, didn't really have much of a play at all. He throws, uh, he tries to throw behind Baker at third base as Baker had rounded the bag, um, but uh, Baker, of course, um, is uh, staying on the bag. And so uh, no trick play there for a secret out. Um, two outs, now here comes Luke Appling, and it's danger again for the Athletics, and that change is inside too far. It's for a ball. There's a ground ball to Juice, who flips it on over to Fox at second for the force. We go to the top of the sixth. Still 3-1 Athletics. Nelly Fox now, swinging bunt, and uh, it's a bad throw by Appling. Fox is going to beat that bunt anyway. He's uh, got the the uh, single here for the Athletics, and that'll bring up Joe Astroth. Fox today, 3-for-3. Three three. Astroth, who's 1-for-2, uh, as an 0-2 count on him after fouling that one out. And it's a little ground ball back to Gumper. It turns around, goes to Michaels, and on to Crest for the double play. Two out, and here is Bobby Chance, the pitcher. And uh, he takes a ball, 1-0. 3-1 Athletics. There's a ball inside, 2-0. That's fouled away, 2-1. That one just misses, 3-1. And one. That's hit down the first base line. And Gumpert, uh, going after it, misses it completely. And so Chance gets a little single, and that's another infield hit for the Athletics. They've had all the luck. And here comes Elmer Vallo, who takes a ball, and that was almost a wild pitch. Wheeler with a great play on that one, preventing uh, the runner from moving to second. 1-0 now the count on Vallo, one of the walk machines, and he hits this one through the infield for a hit. He's 3-for-3. Three three. And that brings up Eddie Juice, the real walk machine, who's walked 59 times this season. Takes a ball low, 1-0. That's in the dirt again, 2-0. Swing and a miss on that, 2-1. and one. That's way outside. It's 3-1 and one on Juice, and that's lined up the middle. Michaels just gets the throw over to first for the out. They're going to give uh, Gumford an assist on that one as well. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, still 3-1 to one, uh, Athletics. The Athletics have had 10 hits as Rapp takes a ball, uh, and now a strike, 1-1. One and one. 10 hits for the Athletics, 4 for the White Sox, and this is a close game. 2-2 two and two now the count. Foul straight back, 2-2 two and two still. Athletics having hits every inning. Full count now on Rap, And uh, he swings a ball four. Down he goes, trying to reach that one. Really poor job. One away, here's Dave Philly. The White Sox have only had two players who've had a base hit. 2-0 two oh now in Philly, who's walked um, once, and I can't remember what he did the other time up. Did something. 3-0 and oh is a count on him. He's about to walk again, and there's a strike. 3-1. and one. That's bloop to right field, but Moses uh, has it. Two away. There's Chuck Kress. Only Wheeler and Michaels have managed to get hits for the White Sox, and that's why they can't score. One and one on Kress. That's high and outside. It's two and one. Fouled away, two and two. And the count is full as that slid outside, and uh, that one bounces in there, and so uh, that'll bring up Herb Adams with the runner on at first base, but with two outs here in the bottom of the six. 
throw to first, nothing happened. You know, Adams, if he gets a hold of one, could uh, tie this ball game up, but uh, I don't think that's likely. There's a ground ball instead to Fox, and Fox can't get it out of his glove, so Adams gets the uh, infield hit, and Crest is safe at second, and that'll bring up Floyd Baker. Two out, two on. Strike to Baker, 0-1. Ground ball to Fox at second, and he's having a venture out there. That one bobbles off of his glove, first error of the game for the Athletics, and that brings up Randy Gumpert. We kind of have a decision to make, though I think I'm leaving Randy in. There's a strike on Gumpert, 0-1. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Hit to short, juice to Fox, and we go to the top of the seventh. Here comes Ferris Fane for the Athletics. We'll see if that was the right decision or not. There's a ball to Fane, 1-0. That's a screwball high, 2-0. Ground ball left side, Baker throws to first in time. One away. Wally Moses up there now. Takes a strike, 0-1. Ground ball to Appling. The shortstop throws to first. There's two away, and here comes Sam Chapman. It's a screwball outside, 1-0, and, and that's swung on a missed, 1-1. One Sliders low, two and one. Foul the way, two and two. Fly ball to center. Adams has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. That's the first time I think the Athletics have been out in order. That'll bring up Don Wheeler. The White Sox were out in order the first three innings. There's a ground ball to Juice, throws the first, one away. And here comes Cass Michaels. Two hits and three times at bat. Hits a fly ball to Chapman in center for the second out. Up is Appling. He takes a ball. And another ball, two and oh. There's a change up in there for a strike. And that's in tight. Three and one the count. And uh, he swung on that breaking pitch. Full count. It's hit down the left field line. And that's going to be a single for Appling. Vallow gets there in time, preventing him from going to second. So that's uh, the third White Sox player to get a hit. I'm sorry, the fourth. Adams had a hit somewhere in there, too. Six hits now for Chicago. And here comes Earl Rapp. He takes a uh, strike. 0 and 1. Throw to first. But Appling's not going in. He's slow. It's a ball off the plate, one and one. Curveball swung on a miss, so it's one and two now in wrap. That's high, two and two. Foul the way, still two and two. Curveball is just low, full count now in wrap. And that's hit deep to center, but Chapman's got it for the out. We go to the top of the eighth, still three to one athletics. Hank Majeski here takes a ball, and there's a strike, one and one. There's a ball again to Hank, two and one, and a strike, two and two. A little chopper, it's going to be uh, Cress. No, I'm sorry, it's uh, Michaels throwing to Cress just in time for the out, one away. Here's Nelly Fox. Grounded up the middle, Michaels again on to first, two away, and it's Joe Astroth. Takes a strike, outside part of the plate, 0-1. Hit to center, and that's a base hit, number 11 for the Athletics, and that'll bring up Bobby Shantz. Bobby today, one for three, fouls the pitch away, 0-1. Well, ground ball right side, Gump Gumpert uh, fields it, throws to first, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. Here's Dave Philly, who takes the strike. Ground ball wide at first, and it's Fane fielding that, flipping to chance for the out, one away. Here's Chuck Cress, and he takes the ball. And a strike, one and one. And that's a little below, two and one. Swing and a miss, it's two and two. And that's a little high, full count now to Cress. The ground ball over to short, Juice throws to first, there's two away, and here comes Adams. And that's a ball to Herb, 1-0, and, oh, and a strike, 1-1. One and one. Ball 2, 2-1, two and one, and there's a swing and a miss of that one on the hands, 2-2. Two and two. Hit over to right field, right center, actually. Uh, Chapman, the center fielder, ends up uh, making the catch. We go to the top of the ninth. Here is uh, Elmer Vallo again, 3-for-3 three three today. Walked as well, fouls one away, and then fouls another one away, 0-2. Oh a single to right. He's four for four today, man. What a great player Elmer Vallo is, and that brings up Eddie Juiced. There's a strike to Eddie Owen one. Ground ball, first play, first base line. Crest makes the play, goes to the bag for the out. Juiced, on the other hand, is 0 for four. There's one away. Vallo goes to second, and here comes Ferris Fane. Foul ball, foul back, 0 and 1. Ground ball to second, and uh, Michaels goes to first, two away, and here's Wally Moses. Pops it up. Cress has the catch for the out. We go to the bottom of the ninth. And so it's do or die time here for the White Sox. It'll be Floyd Baker first, and he takes a ball. And another one, 2-0. and oh. Fouled away, 2-1 and one now on Floyd. Ground ball to the right side. Fox just gets there in time, flips over to Chance as Fane was uh, trying to go for that uh, grounder. Chance gets to first base in time the way that you're supposed to, and there's one away. That play comes up, I think, more often in Diamond Mind than it does in real life. I don't remember the last time I saw a uh, second baseman to pitcher uh, ground out. I've seen at least four of those here. 
Pinch hitter is uh, George Metkovich, and he promptly takes Chance's uh, first offering and uh, runs it up the middle for a base hit. That'll bring up Don Wheeler with a runner on at first. Down by two, so we're not going to run Met- uh, Metkovich. His run doesn't matter. There's a ball to Wheeler. And another ball inside, 2-0. Oh. There's a strike in there, tie 2-1. and one. Ground ball right side. Fox with a good play. Throws to first. Metkovich goes to second. And uh, now there are two outs, and it's all down to Cass Michaels. Cass Michaels, who I featured on the blog a while ago. Michaels having his best year in 49 in real life. Not so much so here in the replay. There's a fly ball over to center field. Chapman's got it easily for the out, and there we go. So there's a quick one for you. It's a little over 20 minutes. Athletics win this one 3-1. to one. They collect 12 hits, give up 7. Complete game victory for Bobby Shantz. Uh, he goes to 4-2. And, two. and uh, it's a good win for the Athletics as they continue to put a lot of pressure on Cleveland and on New York and on Boston. Uh, the uh, 49 Athletics, I think, are here to stay. It'll be interesting to see what happens to them um, in the long term. As I've said before, it's that combination of good power hitting, good on base percentage, and uh, good fielding, especially double plays, that might put them over the top. So if you see a World Series in Philadelphia in 49 in the future, you know the reason why. You saw it here first. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.